Hello, this is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to copy the keyframes that can make up the animation from one object to another. First, create a cube object by clicking on the cube icon. Now let's animate the cube. For this, set the time slider in the animation toolbar to frame 0 and click on the record active objects logo in the animation toolbar to create the first keyframe of the animation. Then, move the time slider to about the middle of the timeline, drag the cube along the x-axis in the viewport, and click on the record active objects to create the second keyframe. Further, move the time slider to frame 90, drag the cube along the y-axis, click on the Rotate Tool logo and rotate the cube around the z-axis, and press the record active objects to create the third keyframe. Click on the Play Forwards button in the Animation Toolbar to test the animation of the cube. It's OK. Stop the animation. Next, create a cylinder by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing Cylinder from the pop-up palette, and increase the height of the cylinder so that it is partially visible. Open the Timeline Dope Sheet by clicking on the Timeline Dope Sheet logo, Click on the cube object in the Object Manager, open the Edit menu in the Timeline Dope Sheet window, and click Copy. Then select the cylinder in the Object Manager, set the time slider in the Animation Toolbar to frame 0, open the Edit menu in the Timeline Dope Sheet window, and click Paste. If you press Play Forwards button in the Animation Toolbar, you will see that the animation of the cylinder follows the animation of the cube. This is because the keyframes of the cube have been copied into the cylinder. Let's switch the cube object off in the Object Manager to watch the animation of the cylinder separately. If you delete the cube, the cylinder animation will remain. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.